It's time for Wake Up Classroom, the TV learning program for young and old adults. Today's lesson is Languages, Part 4, and here are your instructors, Professors George Dexley and Edith Davenport. Hello. Good morning, Edith. Good morning, George. Good, Good morning, morning, students. Today we will continue our study of speech with another interesting and unusual language. But first, let's review yesterday's lesson. George? Yes. As you may remember, yesterday we focused on Japanese. As a refresher, repeat after me the following key phrases. A witch of us go to a monster island. That's the biggest flying turtle I ever saw. We surrender. And Torah, Torah, Torah. Now remember, the golden rule when speaking Japanese is, as you speak Japanese, you will go far. Just say R like an L and L like an R. There's a good example of how that rule operates. Last year, rats attended classes at a UCRA. That's it for the Japanese review. Let's go on to today's language. Farm. farm. When speaking farm, it is important to note that vowel jumblement plays a very major role. For example, the E in get becomes an I, thus get becomes git. However, this rule can be tricky. Let's take the word education, for example. In farm talk, education can be pronounced education or education, but never education. This is known as vowel ambush. Beware of vowel ambushes. Now it's time for some farm talk. We'll start out with some simple words and work our way up to difficult phrases. George? Silo. Drainage ditch. Tammy Wynette. Work your fingers to the bone, what do you get? Bony fingers. Nice sermon, Reverend. I'm afraid we're gonna have to shoot that dog. He's blind and lame and of no use to us. But I love old Husker. Shucks, all he does is limp and yelp and drool all over himself. But that's why I love him. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to shoot that dog. I'll take care of him. Please let him live. No, nope, it's for his own good. I'll shoot him now. Dang it, old Husker shot me. 